Okay, so I have just finished crafting myself up a fuck ton of these Trank arrows. And I've been out harvesting with my Parasaur mount here. Uh, I've got a little bit of Narco there. It's got a load of Mage Berries on there. I am now in a position to show the way in which you can tame, uh, I mean, lower level trikes um, without being in too much danger, really. I would say that, I mean, potentially you can use a method that I'm going to use to tame higher level trikes, but the problem with that is that the higher level the trike is and the lower the level of the technology you're using, so for example, I'm going to be using a bow rather than a crossbow, the more chance it is they're going to run off. And you are quite close to the sea here, so they may run into the sea. So I'm going to do a demonstration with a lower level. And then to tame a nice high level, um, I will use a taming pen, which is a, another method. Right, so what I'm going to do here is just make sure he is on passive. Okay, they're both on passive. They're, I haven't seen anything dangerous around, so I should be okay. Now, the other thing you have to be careful here with trikes uh, is that they do have a kind of herd mentality. If you smack one, you're going to get aggression from a lot more of them. So let's hope that they're far enough away. We'll see in a second. So I'll smack him. Now, the slingshot does have a, uh, like I said, a topo effect. There we go. We've got two of them there. So that's not good. So let's see if we can get them to Barkovsky. So, okay, we have to wait for these guys to kind of split up a little bit because otherwise you are going to end up having to try and deal with like six strikes at the same time. And unfortunately, because they do a sort of an AOE attack, uh, you're going to end up in a situation where if they if you're too close to it while you're taming it, I mean, potentially what you could do is you could drop it and just sort of run around. But if you're too close to it and it, they hit you, they're going to hit the tame, and yeah. So let's go and have a look. What level is this one? This one is a 12. So either of these will do. Let's wait for them to kind of bugger off. Don't think it's going to happen, is it? Okay, so this one is a 16. This one is a 12. Okay, we might have to do a double tame here. This is going to be interesting. Right, so let's go for the 12 first of all. And we'll drop the 12 and then drop the 16. So let's hit them both. Now this is going to be really, really difficult. Oh, it's not going to be difficult. I've just got to run around and make sure the fuckers don't hit me. Don't really want to get clusterfucked by two trikes at the same time. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Now, the other thing is as well, is that once you do a topo attack on one of them, uh, that one will keep aggroing you until the sort of topo attack stops or they drop. Right, there we go. Okay, so this one is trying to get to me. Is the other one coming in? Yeah, it's down there. So. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if we can draw them off a bit and then just put in one of them. Looks like only one. Sweet. Right, let's get in. There we go. Alright, so now I can start using these. Now, he will probably turn around at some point and start running because he is a low level. I'll start using the... There go. There's the same shot there. I'm out of those, so let's use them. 
missed. Damn it. That's one arrow on them. Now it's a good idea to sort of take a little bit of a delay between shooting your average thing. Technically it's five seconds delay you need. Right, it's running. Let's get another one on him. Two, three. Okay, turn around. Right, they're pegging it. Um, so these topol arrows are a, the amount of torpidity they do is a function of the damage you do. So if you can hit them in the head, that is better, because obviously that means you're going to do a lot more damage. Oh, that was bad. Oh, they're running again. Oop, terrible shot. Ideally, I don't want to drop in the water. Oh, there we go. Dropped outside the water. So let's just go and check that. Yep, that's okay. Too much weapons I need to start with. Right, let's go and grab the mount and the uh, little dino. So as you see there, apart from the uh, foo bar and stuff up, it actually went quite well. Um, wasn't too dangerous. Trikes aren't particularly fast. You can outrun them. So let's uh, just make everything follow. Come on. Let's grab some areas on the way. Now it really shouldn't take long to tame a um, trike of that level. As you can see, how quickly they do turn around, they run off, and you know how how easy it is for them to go into the water. This is kind of why you don't really want to use that method on something that is high level, because if it goes into the water, it will die. Just from drowning, basically. Right, so let's put our major berries in there, put that in there. I think I've gone done fucked up. I should have put more major berries in to start off with, but oh well. Right, so that's going to take a little while to tame. We will use that time to get some more narco berries. Oop. And also start getting the resources needed to build a taming pen. Now, I don't really like being over this side of the water because uh, one of the nasty things you do get spawning around here, although they're quite rare, is you get sarcos. Now, sarcos are, uh, I think I've mentioned this already, but they are basically prehistoric giant alligators or crocodiles. Now, turtles are also another good tame, which uh, you can do quite easily, and you can um, quite easily catch them up. But... The problem is, is they're not really very fast. That's at thirteen percent. Right, so to start building this taming pen, we're going to want something that the dinosaur can't destroy. So we're going to need stone. So first of all, I'm going to go into foundation. Right, it's going to need a wooden foundation and a stone foundation, and then we're going to need doorways. So, oh yeah, we'll do that. Uh, then a stone door frame. Yeah, okay, we'll let all of them. And now I should have enough points left to build a gateway. So we go, I want a dinosaur gateway and a dinosaur gate. It's going to take a fair amount of stone to do that. Uh, what we are going to do is. Oh, sorry, I keep saying we. <laughs> try to rope you guys into all this fuckery that I'm doing. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to build a 4x4 four four base. I'm going to put a stone gateway on one side which a dinosaur can run through. And around the outside, I'm going to build uh, doorways. So I can just run into that. As the dino follows me in, I can just run through one of the doorways. It won't be able to destroy the do doorways. It won't be able to get through the doorways. I'll run around and close the gate behind it. And I see a dino over there. So let's just make sure that he's not going to cause any problems. It's only 52, but you know what? Hmm. 
might as well, while I'm here. So while this is taming up, one of the things you are going to notice here is that you can see there is an absolute ton more weight on even a level 16 trike than there is on, for example, this parasaur, which has leveled up 14 times, so 15 times. So leveling up 15 times, it's a level 8 parasaur. As you can see, that's 313. Even a good one isn't going to be that great. Um, whereas the weight on this trike, which is a level 16, is 365 it's going to get to plus seven levels and also while these are leveling up uh, what i'm going to do is explain the stats about dinosaurs so every dinosaur has base stats and it has wild level ups so what you'll have is for example this male uh, dilophus uh, dilophus oh, dilo male dilo it will have stats that every dino starts with so it will have like a base health and then it will have an wild increase for health for every level it puts into it in the wild the higher the level you find the more level ups they've had to put into random stats but each dinosaur does have like for example a trike will have a base um, weight and a base weight increase that would be better than a parasaur so you're going to usually have different dinos that specialize in certain things and then when it comes to actually breeding dinos once you've tamed a dino, you so you have the wild levels, you have the stats. Once they level up, they'll have tamed levels. So this is going to get, say, maybe plus 20 levels. Those 20 levels, it will then put into more random stats. Once those have been done, that is the level there. At tame, you can then uh, breed that with a uh, another dino and potentially you will get you know all the best stats out of both the dinos i think it's a seven i think it might still be this is a 70 percent chance that when you breed two dinos together you will get the best stat in any given stat so that's a 70 percent chance to get the health 70 percent chance to get the uh stamina weight oxygen things like that uh, and obviously certain dinos you don't have to really worry about too much um, you know, you're not, not really going to be looking for a huge weight on, say, a T-Rex. That's about killing. You want decent weight, but you don't want a huge amount of weight. Okay, this is going to be Fred the Second. There we go. Right, now let's just make sure he's on neutral. He's following me. Let's grab the narco berries out of there. So when it comes to the breeding side of things, if you want to get the best possible dinos that you can, um, and this is how you get like the really fucking badass dinos, is what you need to do is you need to go and tame lots of high levels versions of those dinos, and you want to get one that has the highest health, you want to get one that has the highest stamina, the highest weight, the highest melee. Um, obviously, if it's a dinosaur that's going to go into the sea, you're going to want to have um, one that has... A high oxygen uh, for some dinos you're going to want a high food statistic um, especially gigas I don't, I don't know how the gigas rage mechanics working hopefully you, we won't see one soon in this video because it's yeah they're scary so there are dinos that specialize in certain things there are going to be certain stats and it's like you know the chance you get in a parasaur at say a level 100 that has the same weight as a level 100 trike can almost be infinitesimally small because you'd need a parasaur that with their wild levels put every single point into weight and you'd need a trike that say didn't put any points into weight as an example now i mean that that example may be completely wrong but that, you know sort of to get the idea in there so that's why when it comes to taming stuff it's actually it's still viable to tame a low level creature of the type that you need for example this trike is going to allow me to run around collect trees thatch stone and i'll still be able to have them around there and you know trikes have a general decent base damage compared to most stuff around here so be fairly safe unless something really high level comes up they have a knockback etc so you know they are carriers they're a good dino for carriers parasaurs quite fast usually decent stamina good dinos for a mount not so great for carriers and also not so great for collecting but they have a nice easy mount to, uh, mount nice easy saddle to make jesus mugger central round here fucking arseholes Where's that corpse? Oh. 
really? Do you really think that's why I should have... Oh, no, you didn't. Give me back my arrows. Give me back my arrows, you little shit. I tell you, I tell you now, when I get a high level Kano, I am going on a kidding spree of those little shits. Hey, the trike is tamed, so that came out level 23, 394 health. Right, uh, so he's got some food in there, let's grab those narco berries and put them back on. One that's actually collecting them at the moment. Berries. Right, okay, let's rename this trike to Teresa the Trike. There we go. Uh, there we, is that how you spell Teresa? I think so. There we go. So I don't have a saddle I can currently use for that. Um, <clears throat> right, so what I can do now though is I can start storing quite a lot of stuff. One. Okay, make sure they're set to follow and aggression to neutral. Right. So, I am going to start collecting more stuff. I need three more stone foundations. I need a minimum of six stone doors. Yep, six stone doors. I'm going to need a stone gate and a stone gateway. So guys, while I'm actually um, collecting all these resources, there's something I would point out. It's quite often you'll see these little blocks of stone on the floor like this here. And these are actually some of the best resources for getting stone. I know it seems like they wouldn't be. You'd think that the big old rocks, but actually with these, you end up getting usually like a fair amount of stone out of them. That was actually quite a low one. Um, and as you can see, I'm building up my stone now. I've actually got enough stone now uh, to start building what I want to build. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is the actual engram you wanted or I'm going to be using is not just the game, damn, <laughs> is not just the gate, it's the stone dinosaur gate which as you can see needs a quite a bit of stone and wood and that one needs quite a bit of stone as wood as well. Right, there we go. I have now got the ability to make a half decent taming pen. I've got a four stone foundations. Now you could use fences to do this. I just I prefer foundations. Um, I've got a stone door frame. Well I've got six of them. I've got a stone gate and I have got a dinosaur gate. So now it's time to go and build this. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is build a four by four base. Like this. And I've got the dino still following me, haven't I? Of course I have. And I've also, of course, <laughs> got a plant in there. It doesn't really matter. Right, okay, so build the gateway like that. Uh, now we're going to want uh, the... So build the foundation like that. Uh, now I want the gateway to line up with the front of it. Like that. There we go. That'll do. And now I line three sides with doorways. Now, if you had a bigger type of dino that you're going to be trying to tame, you would want bigger, uh, a higher doorways. And also, if you were taming, say, something that couldn't fit through that dinosaur gateway, uh, you would want a uh, a bigger type of gate. Uh, but to give a demonstration of how this is going to work, is what I'm going to do. So I've got Teresa the trike here. Get her to follow me. And I'll run through this gateway here. If she doesn't get stuck on a tree. So what I'll do is I'll um, I'll draw the trike in. It will charge into here. I'll step through the doorway. The trike will get stuck in there, and then I will run around and close the door behind it, and I'll better tame it my own. There's your really. All right, so let's pull Teresa back out of there. Come on, numb nuts. Right. Now, the last thing to do is put the gate on. She left a poop in there. 
really, Teresa. Really. Now, I'd say it's probably best to have the gates pointed outwards like that or inwards like that, because then when you're going round, you can just literally run round and you can hit the gate from there. So on the other side, uh, you have the risk of the thing turning around and running at you. Right, so let's get everything to follow me. I think 28 arrows should be enough to take down a level 88 trike. I'm going to go and try and find that good one. So there's everyone there. Let's just get them out of the way there. Okay. Now I also really want to make sure that there's nothing in the way between that trike and here. So I'm just going to get rid of these trees. Don't want to get stuck on anything. Well, as soon as that carbo is going to go and sit in there, I might as well do this. <laughs> okay, so this is just a, this, is, this is a taming of opportunity right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to <laughs> grab myself a load of stone. I should now also be able to do this with just stone. While Myrtle the Turtle is taming, I want to start getting a little bit of hide together because it takes a lot of hide to make a trike saddle. Well, a lot of hide at this point in the game. And let's have a look. Let's got a level up here. Oh, to be to us. Uh, more weight. More help. There we go. Right. Damn, miss the, uh, the hoppy thing they do. I'll show you the hoppy thing, it's kind of cute. Um, so there's a thing you can do with the whistles. When I first it got me little shit that I got in the first video, there was an explanation that I did for universal whistles and things like that. Now, th that is actually a little bit more detailed than I made it out to be. You have whistle groups which apply to the universal whistles. So one of the things you can do is you could, for example, have, I've got these three. I'm going to use these three to fight things, but there'll be, you know, when it comes up against trikes, well, I don't really want to be using my little squishy ones against trikes. I want to be using a trike against a trike, ideally, or something better. So if you press one of the number pad keys, so for example, number pad one, it says tame ordering group one at the bottom there. If I press it again, order none and you'll notice that a green arrow comes up so everything is selected there if I pull this back same order in group one none everything has got a green arrow over it so I'm going to put um, Teresa the trike into group one on a one so let's make sure I'm in group one there we go now you just press the Z key that's the default to add or remove so if I press the Z key right go back to zero everything selected one. Now they can also be in multiple groups. So I'm going to make a group for things that I can have them all attack. And that's going to be group two. So I'll put Teresa and Fred and George. There we go. Right. So I go group two, group one. And group three will just be these two on their own. Can't imagine something I'll leave that in. Right. Okay. So now if I go to. Oh, sorry, sneeze there. Right, so if I go to group two, grab all of them, I saw another turtle round here, and I'm going to whistle them all to neutral. Actually, I'll whistle them all to passive for a minute and get them all to follow me. Woohoo! There we go, Myrtle the turtle has got me glitch. Right, now um, it might seem silly to tame something like that because they are incredibly slow turtles on land. Uh, don't do a huge amount of damage. They actually have decent health and they're good for the water and they're quite tanky. The thing about turtles is that they don't actually take much damage anywhere apart from their head. So if you're in the water and you're being chased by something, that is quite useful. All right, so let's get Myrtle the Turtle out of the way here. Now I have got some stone on me. Let's go and find that level 88 trike. Killed Teresa, you bastard. No, he's around it. It would be fog when I'm trying to find a bloody thing, wouldn't there? Right, there we go. There's our trike. Oh, run away. Now, 
Now the hardest thing about this really is making sure that you guide them into these structures. There we go. So let's jump over that. Now the fun bit is running around and closing this without getting smacked. There we go. Woohoo! Right. Now it's time to start taming this try. I'm gonna keep wading on it with these bits of stone. I probably should be giving it a bit of a delay between them, but And you can even tame things like raptors with this, I think. I'm not sure if raptors can get through stone doors. I don't think they can. Oh crap. Now this does get a lot easier uh, once you get a decent trike and you can actually, <clears throat> and you can actually harvest uh, berries with it and not only that is once you start getting metal but the problem is is actually getting to the point of getting metal up that up that mountain there I've already been through barred well I lost what two dinos or one dino to the raptors can't remember now um you know and there's fairly nasty stuff does spawn up that hill so you don't really want to be running up there to get metal plus as well you can be running back and forth back and forth you know right okay so, we should have enough stone for me to end up breaking this um, slingshot here. Right, there we go. Terry the trike is down. Oh no, you don't. Get the fuck. Is he running? No, yeah, he's running. Better not. Right, so now I'm just going to jump on the parasol and grab myself some narco berries. Uh, now, another thing when it comes to taming these big things is you don't have to put food in them straight away. Now, I know I've, I've fucked that up earlier by putting that uh, into the uh, Teresa. It ended up being Teresa. I kind of messed up there. I just put it in and ran off. Um, I thought I'd be back in time. But actually, it's, you know, as long as you put enough in to cover the amount of hunger that it's lost and it is hunger that sort of dictates how quickly it is um, or food so as long as you've uh, put enough in there to recover all of that it's fine you can leave them for quite a while as long as torpidity doesn't uh, end up getting out of control and they sort of wake up again so as you see here I'm leaving it for a while and when I put in the narco berries and the major berries all together uh, you'll see that it will chomp through a load of the major berries and that will end up um, just sort of like giving it exactly the same uh, amount of tame that you would have had before. Woohoo! Terry the trike are tamed. There we go. Right, so first of all, let's make sure he is set to passive. Now, there's a reason why I'm on passive is you kind of, if you jump off him, you don't want to go and attack something, you want to jump on him and sort of deal with it. Um, so let's put the saddle on him. There we go. Woohoo! Right, now let's go and uh, show the difference between his harvesting. So he can harvest berries. If we look at the difference between that and, not, well, the amount that he can harvest but also the area that he can harvest. As you can see, he can do two at a time. Gets a load of stuff there. Now, he does have ridiculously low stamina, as you can see. <clears throat> right, now he's leveled up. There's something I've got to show here. So the first thing I've got to do is I've probably got to give him a little bit more stamina. Look how cute that is. It's a puppy trike. Okay, 